Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to talk about enantiomers. Enantiomers are the stereoisomers that have the same molecular formula, but their mirror images are non-superimposable. If you look at your left and right hands, you might probably understand. Now we take a compound and draw a mirror. Now we draw the mirror image. If you look at it, you will see the metal group is right in front of the mirror. So to draw the mirror image, we also put the metal group right in front of the mirror and draw other groups accordingly. We point out our chiral carbons that have four different groups attached to it in both compounds. Then the first compound we drew, we numbered the attached groups according to their atomic number priority. And as we go from one to four, we see the direction is clockwise. So we have our configuration here. We also numbered the groups in the same way for the mirror image and the direction is anti-clockwise. So it has its configuration. Let's go to another compound. We draw the mirror image like the previous way, like fluorine right near the mirror and bromine at the back. Like you'd see this image in a mirror. So we determine the configuration now. We number our attached groups going from the higher to the lower atomic number. The direction if we go from one to four since anti-clockwise, but our number four group has to be on the dash. So we have to switch the direction and it has to be clockwise, so our compound has our configuration. We also determine the configuration of the mirror image and we set the priority to the groups. And as our hydrogen is not on the dash, we have to switch the direction and it has to be anti-clockwise, so our configuration is S. One thing you'll notice here that the mirror images always have to be the opposite configurations to become enantiomers. And also, the enantiomers cannot have any plane of symmetry. Then it will be meso compounds. What if we draw something like Fischer projection? To draw the enantiomer, we have to reverse the two groups that are marked here in this case, hydrogen and hydroxyl group. But if we have something that has two chiral carbons in the same compound like this Fischer projection, we have to reverse both the groups to draw the enantiomer. Just look at the mirror image, you will understand. But what if we have a compound like this that has a wedge? We simply turn the wedge into the dash to draw the enantiomer. And if we have multiple wedges and dashes in a single compound, we turn all the wedges into dashes and all the dashes into the wedges. Look at this one. We have a wedge and a dash. To draw the enantiomer, we simply draw the mirror image like our first compound, like our wedges and the dash will be near the mirror. But we can also draw the enantiomer of the same compound by simply turning the wedge into the dash and dash into the wedge. So this is all for today. Watch my other videos and subscribe to the channel.